So the last part of this tutorial is about saving our key binds. And to do that, we will need to add a new um, new function. So underneath your change keys, I try public void save keys. And in here, we need to write a few lines of code. It's not a lot um, and it's very simple. So we need to make it for each loop. And in there, we need to write key as the identifier. And the collection that we need to look through is our keys dictionary um, up here called keys. So we need to write keys. When we're running through that one, we need to save it in something called player prefs. And player prefs is used by Unity to store different variables, for example, strings or integers or something else. So to make sure to save something, we can say player prefs dot set string because in our case we are storing the different different strings for the different keys and the key we need to yeah store is the key dot key because every time we refer to one of these items here in our um, dictionary it has a key called uh, of type string and it has a value of type key code and that's what we can access here if you write key dot you'll see that you can access the key, which is uh, up, down, left, right, and the value, which is the key binds, uh, which is the W button, S button, A and D, and so on. But right now we need to set the string, an identifier name, so we're going to use the key for that. And then we need to store the current key um, that is on that space. So that's just going to be key dot value to string. So basically, this one would store a standard. It would store this following thing under, and this is just an example, under the key called up, for example. It's going to store arrow, um, yes, store W. So when we try to load this, we'll search for up and we'll get the W returned so that we know what to press. So this is how we save it, basically. We need one parenthesis here. And down here, you can basically say, just to make sure that it stores it, you can say player prefs dot save when we're done. So now we have set the strings and then we save it. So now we need to load this. And basically the place we need to load all this is actually up here where we are adding the keys to the dictionary. So instead of just adding the W as up and S as down and so on every time we start the game, we'll need to look through the player prefs to um, yeah, we need to look through the prep prefs to get the current key we have stored in our memory. So instead of the W key, we can delete this, and we can write player prefs dot get string, and open this parenthesis up, and then we need to get the string key we are looking for. In this case, it's up, so we're going to write up. We need to look for the key that is stored under the label up because we just stored it down here under the current key. And then we need to say the default value of this would be W. So if we haven't saved, stored anything, uh, let's say the first time we run our game, well, then we need to give it the W as the default key here. So we are setting W as the default up key. Okay, so this is not acceptable. It doesn't accept it. It cannot convert string to Unity engine key code. And this is because the Unity engine key code is a type of enum. And we would need to add some code here to, to pass it. So basically we'll need to write, maybe we can write up here using system dot, yeah, I don't even know if you can deny, Never mind. Just, just forget this code up here. I just tried something and it didn't work. So down here we'll have to say um, system dot enum dot pass type of key code and then we need to encapsulate this in parentheses. And we need to cast this to a key code after here. This is very, um, yeah, some very, very complicated code actually. And one more parentheses. Okay, so basically we're taking the player prefs and we're loading it. And we're getting a string called uh, up. 
and as default it's W, but maybe you have saved this up arrow. So it returns this up arrow. Let's say that we have saved up arrow. So this string here is what it returns. But the dictionary here is asking for a key code. So it wants to get key code. I can't even do that here. It wants to get key code dot up arrow. This is what it wants. And and this is this is what it gets, but it really wants this. So to transfer this up arrow into this, you'll need to say system that enum that pass type of key code, and then cast it to a key code here. So all this here basically takes this and turns it into this, so that we can put it into the dictionary. So we can basically take this and copy paste it underneath here and just change the default values. So this is up, this is down, this is left, this is right, and this is jump. So now we need to set the default values S, left is A, right is D, and is space. So now we have actually added the functionality for saving our keybinds and loading them again. So let's try to save this code. Jump back into Unity. And if we run our game, it should simply just look like WASD space. Yeah, this works. Um, of course, we need to assign the save button here. Um, you can see WASD space works. If I would go in here and change W to um, F, for example, as a default value and run the game, then it should change the W to A and F, which it does here. So now F is default move up. We don't want that, we want it to be W. Okay, so now we need to execute the save button. So go to the save button here, and then click on the plus button to add the um, the on, on click event, take the key manager, click it here, select the function keybind script and select save keys. So if we run the game now and we change our keys to up, left, right, down, and we save the game and we stop playing our game and we play it again then all our keys has changed to up, lift, right, down. If you click them, you'll notice that they actually work. Yes, so that is how you can create a um, simple key bind menu for your game. If you have any questions about it, then please feel free to write me a comment uh, or, or go to my forum. I'll, link a, uh, I'll put a link to the forum in the description below. And of course, as usual, if you have any requests or something, something we need to change in this tutorial or add to this tutorial, then please also write that to me either in a private message or in a comment or on the forum. Um, if you haven't done it already and you like my tutorials and you want to support me, well, then you can follow the link in the description below to download the whole project. Um, and the whole project, of course, contains full line comments and all the sprites and everything that I have used in this tutorial. Um, and you can of course also support me by getting any of my other projects. Um, if you don't want to get one project at a time, you can also just support me for five uh, bucks a month. Um, and if you do that, then you can get all my tutorials that I've ever made. Um, and you can, uh, you'll of course get updates and everything when something changes to each and every one of them. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Um, thank you very much for watching.